this video, I'm gonna show you the capabilities of Simpler QMS for making sure that the training is efficient, well documented, and compliant in your uh, quality management system. So first of all, um, it's important to set up the right functional roles on your employees. So let me show you how that is done. So here I go and look at the employee called uh, Vincent. So here we have the uh, record of uh, Vincent. And I click his name and then I can see he's our sales manager. And he has the roles of employee, which is a general job role, and a distribution and sales job role. So here you can select one or more job roles that are associated with that employee. And these job roles are defined by you. So these are just my examples of job roles. Next, I will go to the uh, training uh, module here. And then we'll have a look at the learning rules uh, which is also known as the training matrix. So here you set up the learning rules that connect your documents that needs to be learned to the job roles. So in this case, we have the job role of uh, distribution and sales connected to these documents. And that means that every time these documents, these procedures up here are updated, then the persons, the employees with these job roles, one or more job roles, will get an automated training notification that the documents have been updated. This also applies to new employees um, who start in the company and who need, that needs to, to sign for read and understood on a number of procedures. So let me show how that uh, is presented for the employee. So if I go back to my dashboard, and here I can see in assigned to me, I can see the procedures or the training activities that were assigned to me. If I click one of these, I can see the version to learn that I need to click and learn. Next, when that is done, I have read the documents, then I select the learning or the uh, training activity and I click read and understood. And then I can sign it with my digital signature. I can also show you under training here um, how a manager would view the activities that are overdue. So here we have training overdue. And here I will have a list of the overdue training activities and the names of the employees and the learning due date over here. I'm also able to view those activities by department, by document, by person, by process and so on. So for example, if I wanted to view it by documents and look at our quality manual, I could go here and look at, click the quality manual, and now I can see the state of the learning records on that document itself. If I want an overview or more like a, a report, a summary of the learning in my company, I could go to the KPI report. So here in the KPI report, I can go and click preview, and this uh, report is automatically generated by the system. So that means that these uh, charts are automatically generated. Here you have a status of NCs, you have status of CAPAS, and so on. And you have an overview of the training activities in your company. So here the number of read and understood by state, the overdue training records, uh, training records on time, and so on. So these uh, charts and graphs are also available in the system. Finally, I can show you that uh, it's possible to create training courses. And that means that you can have uh, train by trainer courses where you can um, attach one or more documents to a course. And then you can have employees being trained by a trainer who will sign for their training after the course has been completed. Then the system will automatically generate course certificates like this is sample and maintain and also um, automatically uh, instruct you when the training needs to be uh, redone in, for example, one or two years. Thank you for listening to this video.